when I'm calling you. I don't answer. Will you answer too? I won't answer. I think we've done this intro before. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. Deja vu. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juicy content. Twitter, more juicy content. Twitter, more juicy content. Also, on personal YouTube channels. <coughs> Links in the description below. That was Machine Gun Kelly, and I gave you extra juicy content. Did you see that? No. Gross. Uh... When you run out of mayonnaise, uh... old juicy content will come right to work for it. This is called The Business of Virat Kohli. Is that a person? Or a thing? The captain of the Indian cricket team. Sorry. <laughs> um... The captain of the Indian cricket team. Uh, here, read this. We've actually saw he was at in Florida. Remember that guy? Yeah, that everyone was freaking yeah, out about when he came out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Virat Kohli is an Indian cricketer and the current captain of the Indian national team. Virat Kohli is one of the highest paid athletes in the world, according to Forbes. That, I don't care. One of the most famous athletes in the world, ESPN, and among the 100 most influential people in the world, Time Magazine. That's really cool. Yeah. And that last one is really cool. <clears throat> he's also married to some actors we know and like. I forget who it was. Tapsi Panu. No. Taboo. No. No, nobody like that. Um, I just, I'm sure it'll say in this. Um, I just forget who exactly it was. Nushka Sharma. I don't know. It's probably not her. Here we go. He is one of the highest paid athletes in the world, one of the most famous athletes in the world, and among the 100 most influential people in the world. We are not talking about LeBron James or Cristiano Ronaldo, but Virat Kohli. For a country of over 1 billion people, picking an idol doesn't get any easier. Virat Kohli is the captain of the Indian cricket team. He dates a famous actress, speaks like a statesman, and parties like a rock star. And he is widely acknowledged as the best batsman in the world. While Kohli is destined to have his name alongside cricketing legends, he is the first to be among the highest earning athletes worldwide. To assess the value of Kohli, it's worth noting that most of India's cricket crazed 1.3 billion inhabitants know him. For comparison, hardly 800 million people live in Europe, and North and South America combined are home to roughly 1 billion people, still less than India alone. <laughs> so what is it that makes Virat Kohli one of India's biggest celebrities? He's a babe. You say that just because he has a beard. He does, he has a great beard. <clears throat> Celebrities are often worshipped as heroes. Huh? But nowhere is it remotely on the same scale as in India. That's true. All throughout Indian history, people have been placed on pedestals and elevated to demigod status. While in the past, this adulation was reserved for kings, it has now trickled into other parts of Indian society and culture. Unlike most earlier Indian cricketers who prefer to let their best do the talking, Donny. Virat Kohli is not the one to shy away from confrontations on the fields or at press conferences. I'm not sitting here comforting my guys, so I don't know what you're listening to, but uh, I'm asking everyone to be hard on themselves. On themselves. He has built a reputation for never okay. standing down and not giving an inch on the field. As stated in The Telegraph, those steeped in the traditions of cricket and the spirit of the game may be aghast at his behavior, he that? but he finds approval for his actions in a vast majority. Cricket players do not get a salary anywhere close to that of athletes in domestic leagues like, for instance, the NBA or Premier League. Add dollars, baby. This is because they <laughs> represent their national team for the majority of the year, and most domestic tournaments run for barely over a month. These leagues are lucrative, but the wages are adjusted for the short duration. In sports like football, the domestic league is played throughout the year and players' primary salary is paid by clubs, not national authorities. So it makes perfect sense that no cricket player is on the Forbes list of top 100 highest paid athletes. That is, no cricket player except for Virat Kohli. 
He is by far the highest paid cricket player with a total annual earning of 26 million, which dwarfs all of his other colleagues. The Indian Premier League was the brainchild of an Indian businessman. After studying in the US and being exposed to the wild popularity and unique cultural position basketball held there, he returned to India and modeled a cricket tournament along the lines Smart of the NBA, model it which was the NBA. unheard of yeah. in the traditionalist sport. Or the NFL. IPL yeah. launched in 2008 I mean and IPL. immediately yeah. became a yeah. phenomenon in India. The only people who challenge cricket players for godlike status in India are actors from Bollywood. And IPL married the two. Many of India's Cinema, biggest celebrities from actors Bollywood. like Shah right. Khan and <laughs> Kriti Zinta to India's richest man Mukesh Ambani seemingly made a beeline for buying team franchises. The IPL now has the second highest average attendance for any league across any sport anywhere First? in the world. Oh, the and Virat Kohli is its highest paid player. And yet, despite the almost two and a half million dollars from the IPL and the previously unprecedented bumper contract with the national team, less than 9% of his annual earnings comes from his salary. The only athlete in the Forbes top 10 with more than 90% of earnings coming from endorsements is Roger Federer. So what makes Virat Kohli so marketable? A part of the reason behind Kohli's immense popularity yeah, is that he is the, way more accessible than any the of the previous beer, generation ass, stars. Like, who, who does and more this is largely beer? down to yeah, India's richest man, does. Mukesh Ambani, launching a telecom company called Reliance Geo in 2016. It offered free like mobile data to everyone for six months and exceptional low prices after that. As a result, data prices from their competitors plunged in response. Coupled with the explosion of cheap Chinese smartphones in the Indian market, this led to a whole new wave of Indians on the internet for the first time. Millions of new Indian Facebook and Instagram accounts were created in the first few months after Geo's launch. The timing of this coincided with Kohli's form. A huge number of people began streaming his matches from their phone, which meant more people were seeing him at his best. Now, they could even follow up on him post-game from his regular social media updates and interviews. Everybody wanted a piece of him, and it wasn't long before half the nation knew everything about him from his favorite food to his toilet schedule. Subsequently, it was revealed that amongst the hottest keyword from internet searches were Reliance Geo and Virat Kohli. Kohli is now the most followed Indian on Instagram and reportedly earns over $350,000 for a single tweet. The manicured beard, six-pack abs, and the bad boy attitude quickly garnered him an almost religious young female fan following. Like this that. was uncharted territory for Indian cricketers who were usually known only for their cricketing ability. With this, Kohli began transitioning from national sportster to celebrity, much the way David Beckham did. However, the similarities with Beckham don't end here. Both hot. Kohli cemented the crossover when he began dating the beautiful Bollywood star Anushka Sharma. Uh, yeah! Their marriage was a huge event in India, and their relationship ensured magazines always had a permanent stream of news to write about him, even when he wasn't on the cricket pitch. Cricket what? Virat Kohli's pitch. brand pitch. is built carefully by his superstar agent Banti Sachde. Bunty, or Jerry as Virat calls him after Tom Cruise's character in Jerry Maguire, has complete freedom about everything Virat does off the field. He can be viewed as the Indian version of Mino Raiola and represents a long list of Indian sports superstars. He handles everything about his player's image, from the apparel they wear to their social media posts using a data-driven model to identify target audiences and demographics. A quick glance at the companies that Kohli endorses shows us exactly what audience he targets. We primarily see names like Puma, Google Duo, Uber, Tissot, Audi and Philips. These are companies that exclusively target the urban Indian population and that is exactly the market that the brand Kohli is going after. His own athleisure brand One Eight, in collaboration with Puma is set to release a whole collection of urban and youth-centric apparel footwear and equipment that he hopes will grow in the same vein as the Jordan brand. We can classify almost the in entire India, list of companies he has endorsed and invested in under one urban youth-centric category. Underneath this umbrella we see three clear segments. Fashion, health and fitness and sports. Let's take a deeper look at this to understand how Banti has delivered on his promise of showing Virat the money. Show me the money! 
In 2017, Kohli stopped endorsing Adidas and signed with Puma. It was Adidas. the largest ever endorsement deal for an Indian sportsman with a single brand. This can be attributed to Puma agreeing to launch Kohli's Puma? own signature line, 1-8, after his jersey number 18. The move paid off for both, with Kohli getting close to $150 million from it. Puma says its association with him led to 10% of its sales in India in 2019, along with an overall 23% revenue growth. He is also the co-creator of a youth fashion brand called Rong and is constantly seen on advertisements for an ethnic wear brand called Manyava with his wife. Kohli changed the nature of the cricket team's approach to fitness with his own transformation. He went on a vegan diet and completely revamped his workout routine. Oh, he's vegan? And his marketing team makes sure that his physical fitness is always associated with his name. Kohli caused a huge stir when he dropped PepsiCo as his sponsor for not being in line with his new healthy lifestyle. He is now the face of India's most popular energy and nutrition drink, Boost. Oh. In 2015, he invested close to $12 million in setting up a new line of gyms in Tier 1 Indian cities called Chisel. After seeing the success of IPL and the popularity it garnered from the younger generation, a whole bunch of copycat leaks in different sports began cropping up all over India. Kohli promptly invested in some of them like a team in India's domestic wrestling league and even in the now defunct tennis team UAE Royals, captained by Roger Federer. The teams he owns are all very strategic investments and follow the same pattern. For example, FC Goa, one of the teams he co-owns, is a part of India's Football League. Football and the Indian Super League have a largely young audience in India. On top of this, Goa is a state that is known for its beaches and young party goers. One cannot help but notice the same characteristic features again and again that are ingrained into everything he does. Something sporty, healthy or fashionable for a young, urban audience. He makes sure to only work with partners that suit his brand image and not accept every offer he is given. This clarity has worked well for him and built a strong credibility. An article in the scroll captured Indians' love for Kohli quite simply by saying, it's easy to see why Kohli is so popular in India. He is the best cricketer in a country that adores the game and its stars. He is a fitness and style icon. He dates a famous Bollywood actress. He talks like a statesman and parties like a rock star. He is what every youngster in India aspires to be. While in India, Kohli seems to only be getting bigger and bigger, it remains to be seen if Kohli can break the confines of the limited global appeal for cricket outside the Commonwealth nations and transition into a truly global personality. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider subscribing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, obviously, and I know most of that didn't interest you at all. Not at all. That's fine. Um, but essentially what it was saying, which you could have said shorter, was he's basically trying to be the Michael Jordan of Indian cricket, which he could very well be. Absolutely, because obviously what they were saying about India and their love for either celebrities mm -hmm. or their athletes, especially right. cricket, right. obviously he could be. Obviously, um, Michael Jordan being one of most, like, he's a billionaire because of his shoe brand, really, yes. and, and all that kind of stuff. And all that. Also, it, how, it must be very difficult to be vegan and also an athlete. It is. Right. Yes. Because you have to get your protein somewhere. If Correct. you want to build mass. Correct. I'm not sure he's obviously... Uh, vegan bodybuilding is even more impressive because they are trying to build... Vegetarian bodybuilding, bodybuilding is impressive. Yeah. Impressive. I mean, all bodybuilders have to supplement in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean they're doing anything illegal. It just means they have to supplement uh, for protein intake. So, yeah, to, to make... Forget athlete. Yeah. Just living yeah. day in, day out as, as vegan. You have to do certain things with your diet to ensure you're having a proper... Uh, protein intake, um, iron intake, different things of that nature. And so. another thing they didn't mention, even though it was a long video and you think they would have mentioned it, was he he's produced quite a bit that I believe we've seen. Uh, well, and they said, and I'd like to see, well, one, I'd like to see more footage of him playing. Well, this was this was specifically a video. It's called The Business of Virat Kohli. Right. And so that's why it was all about him as a businessman, which... Right. <clears throat> obviously is a 
different thing entirely. Obviously, please send us your Virat Kohli videos so we can actually see him playing more than we we saw him playing. And speaking, if he speaks like a statesman, I'd like to see. Has he done a TED Talk? Has he done? I'd maybe. love to see him speak. Maybe. Uh, but I believe, I could be wrong, I think he's produced a bunch of stuff, either OTTs or, or films as well. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just his, his wife does it. Maybe it's under her name mostly because she's done a bunch of stuff. She was the producer of Patal Lok. She right. was the producer. Yeah, she's involved with a lot. Uh, she's obviously an actress, and she produces a lot of horror. Mm -hmm. I know she likes that genre a lot. Um, so I'm sure the couple themselves is worth a lot of money. Yeah, he's worth way more. You think but, so? But again, I, I could give a rat's ass. You think so? That he, he's worth way more? What, Just because her? Than Yushka Sharma? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Well, is, is she on Forbes... Top 100? I don't know. She's not. I don't know. I've never read Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 I, um, that, it just doesn't, but that, that's, if you, how much somebody makes never impressed me. But if you were in his shoes, though, literally, because he, he's a shoe brand. Oh, uh, <laughs> but don't, um, that's who you would want to, like, you want to diversify and make as much money as possible while you're at the status you are, because you're not always going to be at that status. If yeah. that's your goal. Well, your goal is to basically be financially stable to so you can do whatever you want, so you can produce whatever you want, so you could. So it did. Sure. Obviously, it's smart. Oh, it's very smart. <laughs> it's extraordinarily smart from a business standpoint and a, and a, a monetary standpoint. Ab absolutely. He's making it, he and his team are making really smart choices with his yeah. brand. And yeah, really just, smart choices. He's just with his a brand. sexy dude. So, right? Yeah. Who's a sexier cricketer than him? Name one. I don't know. I can't name any other. Oh, I can't name Donnie, but he's sexier than Donnie. I've seen Donnie and Sachin, but they're also older. I don't know how old he is. I have no idea. <clears throat> 19 I'm, I'm going to guess he's 27. 19 Nope, 1988. So he's 33? Is that 33? 32. 32? Yeah. How, what's the average length of a cricketer? 5'7". Because <laughs> in like American football. Right. Average career length? Career is four years. Obviously for a superstar or a quarterback who he'd probably oh, be a quick weirdo to, like Brady. Uh, 36 to 40 something. <laughs> yeah. And in Major League Baseball, earliest you're ever going to get into Major League Baseball is 18. It's typically not until you're about 20, 21. And then depending upon, pitchers can go into their 40s. Most ball players are done in their late 30s. Mm -hmm. If they've had a great, great long career. Mm -hmm. NFL is the shortest. If you have a seven-year career in the NFL, you had a long career. It's a very physical sport. It's a sport. very physical sport. You're, you typically go in and out within about four or five years. Yeah, the average is three to four yeah. years. Yeah. The average. So when you get a Tom Brady who's going on, what, 22 he's years now? He's like 40. He's 40. He's going 42. That's just... Insane. That's that's like that's like uh, Lou Gehrig weirdness, you know. Yeah. That's bizarre. Well, let us know uh, videos either of him playing, playing. or him speaking, speaking as well. Yes, uh, please. Of a Virat Kohli that we can react to and upvote it so we can see it down below.